right, so we're going to continue where we left off. We have our empty ticket to the top, and we have a new variable, really nice descriptive name called matching number, which is going to hold the number of times our tickets matches. Now, I've printed the value of our lotto number, so that way I can actually fix the program. I know, so I'll know exactly how many times it should match. Now, we're really lucky that a for loop in Python is not only treated as a count control loop, so where it runs a certain amount of times, but in Python, you can actually use it to print out the values in a list. So if I go for item in uh, my ticket, what that does is that'll actually print out each number in my ticket one by one. Now that doesn't actually seem that useful for printing our item because, well, if we were to print it, we can actually see it all here all at once. But by going one by one, that actually allows us to compare if that item is in the lotto ticket, the lotto number. Now, in is a Python function that checks if a singular item is in the lotto number. So if it is, we're going to print it to match. We're going to run this. And I'm going to fix it. So there you can see there is the lotto ticket. So I'm going to enter 22, 43. So I should have four matches. And then I'm just going to fill it up with random numbers. Oh, I entered 50. So it'll be one extra one. And well, I don't have it to match anywhere. This if statement has not worked. Now, there's a really simple reason for this. When we've entered a uh, bit through the input function, a number, it's actually a string because input always checks, returns it as a string. So it's actually comparing 22, string 22, against integer 22. They might look the same, but they're a different data type, so it's actually not a match. So all we need to do is we then convert this using the int function, which takes a string and it makes it into an integer. So now we'll actually get it's a match. So at the same time, if it's a match, we're going to increase our matching number by one. So if our now integer value is anywhere in that lotto number, it's going to tell us that it's a match and it's going to increase that by one. So if I run that, I'm going to fix that number again. So we're going to go 10, 37. We're going to go 2, 4, 5, 6, 8. So here we can see it's a match once and it's a match twice because we've got 10 and 36 or and 37. So 10 and 37. So if we were to print that matching number at the end, we'd see that it would have a value of 2 because it's matched twice.